Finding the Voices talk show by Monica Ingunam. I'm a huge fan of Finding the Voices. You're doing a great job for Manipur. Manipur bu prithi vida masatak pa. Good positive uh, voices and you know make those voices more visible. Yeah. Wanted our voice to reach in all the corners of the world. Finding the Interesting voices. people. In finding the uh, finding voices on people the from our own place. Share positive stories and inspiring stories and bring out the good stories of Manipur. Finding the voices. back to finding the voices in this segment today we are going to cover how Koijam Basundras came back to Manipur and started Manipur creation okay I think the last time we ended we ended from the time you came back and started Manipur creation over here so if you can share a little bit in detail uh, so sadly when I I've decided that I should come back to Manipur when I start shifting my project. Uh, we have to go through a period where things uh, was very badly disturbed in Imphal mm -hmm. because of ILP issue. Oh, so yeah. you moved during the time of that ILP When I, I, ILP just starting that time, I started moving my project. Okay. But it happens so that... Uh, when I shifted my machines, mm -hmm. when I supposed to shift my machines, that time it was big ILP problems. Mm. So my project was delayed for almost one and a half months, because of which I am struggling till today. Mm -hmm. Because at that time... Because I you could not get your equipment uh, Not time. only that, because when I shut down half of my Tamil Nadu project, mm -hmm. uh, my I cannot send away all my staff, uh, all my workers mm -hmm. back, because still I have to pay some part of their salary mm -hmm. because if I leave them uh, once for all then they may not come back also mm -hmm. so, so you I have, have to, to continue them. paying the salary mm -hmm. but at the same time I could not shift the machine to Imphal but somehow uh, I decided one day uh, that somehow I have to move in mm -hmm. but at, even at that time also the, the problem was so much that even I cannot go up to airport Okay. So when I cannot go up to the airport, I was just uh, imagining how how I'll bring my missionary in here mm -hmm. because I have to bring in seven trucks. Mm -hmm. so at last, I said, see, if I don't bring in now, then it's never. Mm -hmm. Because anyway, uh, the financial position, what I was in that time, will not support me for another one more month. Mm. So I decided that I have to bring in. I, I got the machine in. Uh, even... Uh, when the truck was moving from Tamil Nadu to Imphal, I could not stay in Imphal. Mm -hmm. uh, I took my car and I went up to Siliguri so that you know, the truck can come along with me. Mm. Uh, right from Siliguri till Imphal, my, truck, my car was... With the I was traveling with the, with, with the, the, with the equipments. We had a lot of problems mm -hmm. right from uh, Assam Gate. Uh, we started having st problem because it was... 15th uh, August mm -hmm. because of 15th August the security was very tight in Assam the problem started from there and it was a bun mm -hmm. uh, throughout Assam Assam Valley then uh, we moved during the bun only because uh, they don't want to wait these truck people don't want to stop mm -hmm. so I move in and uh, once we reach Dimapur it's a very big problem okay, so because it was more severe uh, very severe because I I am not used to the local, local way of transporting. Means mm. uh, the, the so problem which we we usually have. Okay. So I one by one, gate by gate, gate by gate. I was just wondering how I will move in my raw material, mm -hmm. because somehow I managed to bring in my machine, but I was worried that but, time. Uh, when you say like lot of problem for each of the gate, did you have to pay? We'll have to pay. It's normal here. Uh, is see. it a tax to the government or is it? 
See, text to the government is quite easy. Quite easy. So this gate or this top, what you had made, are unofficial. All unofficial. All unofficial. Oh, these are all unofficial stop by the local people, which see, you have to pay uh, tax. When I my when my factory construction was on, that time when I want to buy one water tank, mm -hmm. I was wondering why one water tank which cost six thousand out of Imphal, out of Manipur. Uh, why it costs 11,000 to 12,000 here. Mm. So I was wondering and I was keep on asking if each and everybody whom I knew them that time that uh, see we manufacture here should be still cheaper. Why it is, uh, it is more costlier than what it is available out of Manipur. Mm -hmm. When I was going in with my machinery that and time. And these are I, seven trucks. And with the seven trucks. So the tax would be higher than normal. Very I much, guess. very much means see uh, I don't know whether uh, my customer or my people will accept what I am going to disclose now mm -hmm. uh, with one lakh rupees in my pocket. Mm -hmm. When I reach Imphal, when, when with one lakh rupees in my pocket in Dimapu Gate, mm -hmm. when I reach Imphal, it was empty. Okay, just to get. Just to get in. Just to get in, and mm -hmm. all those one lakh rupees was used over. in the tax. Mainly in the tax. Mainly in the tax means our local Unofficial tax. tax. Unofficial tax. Not paid to the government, not but paid, to the local Not pay, uh, Government, we paid in the gate. And we When we enter the sell tax. tax. Government tax is normal because, see, it comes with our, uh, normally when our yearly filing comes, that time it will come. Because we just enter to sell tax. Uh, it has come with the proper documents. So documents just pass in and then we just come in. So mm -hmm. it comes normally for 4% or 14%, whatever percent. Uh, comes as per government's rule, it comes. But that is not a problem. The problem is... No, no, but this 14% is 14% of what? 14% of the bill the entrance. value. No. Oh. See, uh, government has a separate rule. Hmm. That is not a problem. That is, that, that is everywhere in, in India. Mm -hmm. When I want to move in some uh, machinery to Tamil Nadu, we pay the same thing. Hmm. That is not the problem. Mm -hmm. The problem is when we enter the Dimapur gate, mm -hmm. if it is Manipur uh, vehicle, we'll have to pay. Mm -hmm. From there, see, the problem starts from there. Mm -hmm. uh, when we pass, in, oh, if we don't clear this uh, in the Dimapur gate, mm -hmm. we can't pass through mm -hmm. Nagaland Valley. Mm. Our transport from uh, Dimapur to Imphal is the worst. It was the worst experience what I had. When I was just entering to Imphal, uh, entering to Imphal, I thought my problem is over. Mm -hmm. But uh, Imphal was waiting for me with a bigger problem. Mm -hmm. Bigger problem in the sense I, and when I entered uh, our, uh, this one, Mantripukhi, mm -hmm. I thought my problem is over now. Mm -hmm. But when I reached Mantripukhi, when I called up my family, they told me that you don't get in. Now there are a lot of problems in. There mm -hmm. are a lot of fires on the road and uh, mm -hmm. and all my trucks are uh, outside truck. Mm -hmm. And they are, the drivers are all non-Manipuri. Mm -hmm. so it is still more dangerous uh, and my life is inside the truck. Mm -hmm. So they told me don't get in, but I said, see, I've struggled so much. Now I'll have to get in. Mm -hmm. uh, I took my uh, lorry and I came uh, in uh, uh, this Thangwebel road. From Thangwebel, I cut uh, in front of uh, assembly mm -hmm. uh, assembly house. Then I come out to rims in front of rims. Mm -hmm. I thought I'll get in the rims uh, backside road, and uh, there is a small lane. Uh, through the staff quarters of the backside of rims mm -hmm. that is uh, supposed to be nursing quarters or something like that mm -hmm. that small lane if i pass through then it comes to norem tong which is quite close to my factory mm -hmm. so that is the only route which i can get in okay. and i told my staff and my family even my wife was also running up and up down that time mm -hmm. so i told them you come in dead road any problem is there in that road that road was clear okay so I thought at least we are reaching. Uh, somehow my mother, my wife, they convinced Naurim Thong uh, made up a big group and uh, they told that our lorry are coming, at least you oh, please open. Everybody agreed. Mm -hmm. So we thought we, we are saved. But when I entered backside of rims and when I was crossing these nursing quarters, some of the occupants of the quarters came out. 
and they told their road is very bad. Uh, they cannot uh, allow my lorry to uh, pass through that mm -hmm. lane. I told them, see, we struggle that much coming from Tamil Nadu till here. Mm -hmm. We are about to reach and there are no any other way which I can reach my factory. Mm -hmm. People are different. People are different. Um, I feel so sad. Even today, when I remember that, see, when our life was on stake, when we just passed through that small, small lane, means it is just a matter of only 100 meters. Mm -hmm. If we just pass through that one, the matter is over. Mm. But it, they were so selfish that they have not allowed. It is not that I am going to take this seven lorry every day mm. on that road. It is once. Mm -hmm. Not allowed. So, so sadly, I have to return back. And I went in front of the rims. Mm -hmm. uh, ha I have taken the lorry in front of rims, uh, rims road. Then when I was passing through Rims Road, there was a lot of fire on the road. A lot of fire means a lot of here tires, uh, one burning, tires yeah. burning and a log of trees were burned. A lot of problems. It was peak. It was almost going to finish. The ILP was almost going to end up that time. Mm -hmm. Another five, six, seven days, it, it ends. Mm. So it was peak that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, this Uribrok, uh, Uribrok locality people came out and they, to they told me that I was parking my vehicle uh, on the road only, mm -hmm. uh, uh, nearby rims, mm -hmm. because we can't go through. Mm -hmm. so I thought up to evening we will stop there. Uribok locality people came out and told me that they cannot stop people being, they, if they come out and burn down my lorry, mm. they will not be able to stop because these are all non manipuris and it is. So all the drivers of the trucks are non manipuris? Non manipuris, vehicle was Tamil Nadu vehicle number. Okay. So it's like, no, it, uh, it's quite easy for people to find out. And when people are so angry that time, they can do anything to that mm -hmm. truck. So the there was no security at that time? There was no security that uh, at that time. So what I have done, uh, I moved my vehicle from there again. Uh, with that chaos mm. that I moved my vehicle in front of Sankatokis, that time the Sankatokis. Mm -hmm. In front of Sankatokis, there is a small bay mm -hmm. where we can park uh, or lor uh, some lor uh, some lorries are still parking there also. Mm -hmm. So I took my lorry there and we parked there. Then after that, I there there was a big problem in Tamil uh, area mm -hmm. locality mm -hmm. because uh, people started coming out with the loudspeaker, uh, something that you should not keep uh, uh, non manipuri people in your house. You so uh, this cannot. Was openly uh, openly, 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 openly on the road. In Maitailon. In Maitailon. And uh, these are by the local people? Uh, local local people. Area. It was normal that time. Mm. Because, see, when we, we are fighting for ILP movement, uh, some of the families are keeping them in rent. Mm -hmm. So peop some, some of them are against this. Mm -hmm. So that is why there was a uh, propaganda kind of things on the road, telling that do, please don't keep any non manipuri in your house. Mm -hmm. But I was just... Uh, very near to where they, are south, uh, they mm. were shouting. So, a bit worried mm -hmm. that uh, if anything happens to my goods, still better. But if their leg is on stake, it's still yeah. very, very worrying factor. Mm -hmm. So, what I have done is uh, I called my car, my safari, and uh, I took all the driver and cleaner, mm. and I went straight to Lumpel Police Station. Okay. Uh, very, very sadly, very, very sadly, they refused keeping them. Oh. Uh, they said, uh, please go to uh, Khairman Bazar uh, Dharmasala, where all the non-money priests are kept now. We can't take uh, this uh, responsibility. The police station. Police station, Lampel police station at that time. I tried calling my known uh, police also, but everybody suggested me that it is not safe there. Mm. So when the police station was not that safe, mm. uh, what uh, other place? Could what other safe? place where I, I can take them? Mm -hmm. Because uh, if the Dharmasala is thousand times safer than Lampel police station, still there are a uh, way which I have to take them and go, which is to very very vulnerable to risk Dharmasala. That they don't Dharma care. Mm. Dharmasala is in bazaar. So in bazaar. when they say take them to Dharmasala. 
it's not a police station. It's just the locality it's where the uh, non-Manipuri stays. So they are just saying that that's where the non-Manipuri stays. So take them there. Yes, take them there. They'll be safe there. They will be safe there. Normally, it was safe. Okay. It, uh, no, I, I, I don't have any doubt. Mm. Dharmasala was still much safer place than Lampel Police Station. Uh, no, nearby Lampel Police Station. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can't say that Lampel Police Station is not that safe for them. Uh, you can compare that uh, Dharmasala is safer than Lampel Police Station. Mm -hmm. So Lampel Police Station is supposed to be the safest place. Because it's uh, a police station. Poli because it's a police station. And if you insist me that I have to take these people to uh, Dharmasala, which is safer, then they should provide me a security to risk there. Right. Which so, they didn't. So, which they didn't. They just told that They you just go. told me that you live. You, but did you yeah. ask them to give the security I asked them, but reach. see, when the things are so hot that time, you can ask, you can just talk, but you can't insist them. Mm. Because I was not having time. At the same time, my lorry was uh, in the center of the chaos. Uh, unattended. Unattended. Uh, unattended. And at one side, another 11 life was in my hand. Right. So, a bit worried. What I have done is okay. Uh, whatever it happens, if somebody is going to attack my driver, uh, my life will be the first to mm. go. I drive myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I took my car and went straight uh, in front of Rims Road and then went to Bazaar. But the road was totally burned. Mm -hmm. Totally burned. In between I went and they were telling me yeah, I have to stop. But somehow I managed. I went. Monica, I'm finding the voices. 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 Finding
the only things which helped me was the social media. Mm. Like uh, I just update my position. I am, I am in this position, in that bad position, uh, in Facebook. All my friends started calling me, mm -hmm. and all my friends started coming mm -hmm. uh, in my WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. it, it's so useful. Mm. Like uh, all of them, one one of my friend, we discuss each other, and we say we decided that okay, night we will move. Mm -hmm. Then one friend uh, stay uh, from that uh, Uribo locality. One of my friend comes out from Norim Thong, uh, this locality, one of my friends came out. All of them were on the road. Mm. When when I'm passing through, I should not have problems. Okay. So but around 8.30, we start moving vehicle. And around 11.30, we finish mm. moving mm. with the driver. And you drove all oh, the trucks, yes, one by yes. one? Yeah, one by one. And mm. all the drivers were in the hotels. In the hotel. I have not taken them out from there. Mm -hmm. We Next day morning, uh, be uh, before sunrise, before sunrise, we went and took the driver, kept in, we locked them, give them food and all here. Mm -hmm. And uh, the third day, they left from here and gone. Mm. Uh, when on the way back, there were their vehicle, uh, one of the vehicle glass was broken on the road, mm -hmm. and somehow they menaced mm -hmm. and they left. Mm -hmm. So it was because they have to go back in the truck. In the they have to. The yeah. I went up to Kangpopi. Okay. With them, okay. and from Kangpopi, uh, after crossing Kangpopi again, uh, they left themselves. My worst experience and my best experience in my life, somehow the machines were here. Mm. But after the machines in, uh, unloaded here, every day was burned. Mm. Every day was burned. We closed our door and uh, we were working every night. Mm -hmm. Daytime we were sleeping. Okay. Because the daytime was strike, okay. we can't do. So mm -hmm. your employees came at night and worked. Yes, yes. And the then during daytime, they were my sent back home and they would catch up on this. My employee was so helpful. Today, why they were very flexible and cooperative. Very, very, with the very, situation. very flexible. Because uh, today, Manipur creation is here only because of my staff. Uh, when my lorry was approaching Imphal, everybody was on the road mm. uh, because uh, it's their life. They consider that it's their life. Mm -hmm. One second, when we move the lorry in in the night, uh, in the midnight, I will not get anybody to unload those heavy mm, machineries. And it's very heavy. And so very heavy machineries. Machines. All my staff, even my old staff who were working, uh, they uh, was was working with us mm -hmm. in Tamil Nadu, mm -hmm. but uh, left two years back. Even they came, even they came, and everybody around 40, 50 of us unloaded the truck. In the night, mm. because we we knew uh, mm. early morning means it is problem. Mm -hmm. We knew and we have to finish in the night. Mm -hmm. We finish unloading in the night, uh, and next day we took rest during the daytime because daytime we don't want to violate the people's uh, movement. Mm -hmm. uh, and evening time when everything cool down, we open then again. We start, again we, we start, start working. working. So the working hour change. Working hour change. Mm -hmm. We were working in the night. Electrifications. Uh, connecting our machines with the line, trying out with the machines. Everything was done during the night. And within 10 days, we start production and factory. By that time, ILP also over. Mm -hmm. and in the valley. In the valley. Mm -hmm. And we start running peacefully since then. Okay. Uh, Manipur, uh, Manipur Creations uh, is uh, so, no, since then, without any disturbance. Okay. Without any disturbance, we are, we are working till today. So, uh, how, how many employees do you have? We have uh, 68 as a direct uh, employee, mm -hmm. direct employee who in the sense here and who work comes and day. works under this roof, Okay. Uh, who get direct salary from me, mm -hmm. and another 143 mm -hmm. uh, indirect staff, mm -hmm. indirect staff in the sense uh, they work in commission mm -hmm. uh, for our sales. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are working for our local laundries. Mm -hmm. uh, we do laundries for uh, local laundries mm -hmm. so because from for each and every uh, for the public yeah. from each and lo every localities there are uh, agents mm -hmm. who pick up the laundry items mm -hmm. and uh, we our vehicle goes and uh, pick up mm -hmm. in the morning and next day morning when we go to pick up we drop 
-hmm. We drop them and they delivered. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of groups mm -hmm. like that. And uh, slowly our market is uh, now spread out to another five more districts. So we have six districts now. Mm -hmm. uh, one is uh, Imphal already, as you know, it is well established. Mm -hmm. uh, the brand Manipur creation is well established in Imphal. Uh, Tobal, we have one showroom. And uh, our uh, promos is very well extended to Tobal district. Okay. Every week we are going two times for mm -hmm. our pro sales promo. Mm -hmm. And uh, Moirang, we have one, uh, one more showroom. Mm -hmm. Even Moirang 2, we have extended our promo sales. Mm -hmm. uh, Tamenglong, we have one. Mm -hmm. And Senapati and Ukrul. Okay. So, Manipur so Creations, we have, so we have six. Okay, six. We have six totally. Uh, Manipur creation is not only for Imphal. It's for the whole of Manipur. It's, it's for the whole of Manipur. Mm -hmm. That is one of the reasons why uh, I extended all my showrooms to almost... I am trying to keep my showrooms in all the district mm. and most, most probably, and if hopefully, we will uh, have in this uh, coming three months, within three months, because every month I am thinking of opening one more. But to be very frank and honest, uh, opening a showroom in a small district, a small town, mm -hmm. is not that fruitful to the company, mm -hmm. uh, to the company and the com as a financial structure. If I am looking through the financial structure, it is not a wise decision. Mm -hmm. uh, because because the sales are not sales so are not not much, and if you have to open a showroom, you need to keep the garments right. that means you need finance mm -hmm. after investing that much uh, the return if the is sale not return is not, uh, not there mm. it is much better if i open a little bit more populated area where people buys mm. but still you want your presence to be there so even if it doesn't make financial sense you want to expand to all the nook and corners one of, of my principal uh, thinking or principal policy if we can say is even if uh, if we have a single customer in that town mm. i should you have a, I, I should them. have a mm. showroom because he has a right. right he he has a right to come and buy my product mm -hmm. in his town mm. uh, because see uh, whatever brand who, which is flourishing here at imphal uh, it they just uh, concentrate where they will get the maximum benefit. Mm -hmm. They don't go for a benefit of the customers. Mm -hmm. Customer like if you, if we see, uh, for example, any, I don't want to mention the brand name because right. since we are in, I, I am also representing one brand, I don't, uh, let's say brand A has a very big uh, showroom here in Imphal. Mm -hmm. uh, he don't, he, he also has the capacity to open one more showroom mm -hmm. at Thabal, for example, like, let's say. Mm -hmm. Why he is not opening is because uh, his market research does not support mm -hmm. opening uh, one more showroom there. Mm -hmm. This means, uh, whether this the means that Thabal, Thabal does not have the right that. to buy. Uh, I w what I want to ask is, uh, does this mean that the people from Thabal does not have a right? Mm -hmm. So to you want to, to use for your brand. brand Manipur Creation, you want everybody from Manipur to have access to their nearest mm -hmm. place, and hence, even if it doesn't make financial sense or you know the income may not be as high, you would want people to have access and have the right to at this least is see and buy. Yeah, this That's is what. Really see, this is what because uh, I I've discussed with some of my government officials also, mm -hmm. whom were close to me that uh, why our Manipur handloom uh, does not have their outlet in all the district. Mm -hmm. Whether this means that the Manipur handloom is only for Imphal mm -hmm. uh, or only for the people living in Imphal. Mm -hmm. uh, these are very complicated things to be answered. So you raised the question, posed the question to the government official informally telling that, you know, like I just want the presence I is there only yes, in Nepal, yes. but not everywhere in Manipur. Not everywhere in Manipur because see, uh, when we form a factory uh, or when we start an, an industry here, our main purpose or main uh, target should be first thing: uh, people 
in the in in this land mm -hmm. in this part uh, our customer means our 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 brother and sisters mm -hmm. everybody should get the benefit of what we are here today mm -hmm. uh, if my the price of my garment is going to be the same as what it is available in the market mm -hmm. or maybe still a bit uh, more than this what is the point we have a factory here mm -hmm. that doesn't serve the purpose because mm -hmm. uh, you want the people of Manipur to use what you are producing yes see uh, when I produce myself definitely my price will be lesser than the one which uh, people goes mm -hmm. out of Manipur and purchase and they come back mm -hmm. it should be definitely cheaper than that no mm -hmm. so uh, if I know that the price, uh, what uh, people are selling in the market is 500, mm -hmm. and if I sell my garments also at 500, people will buy. Mm -hmm. But see, when I am manufacturing here, there should be a uh, little bit difference between them, no? Mm -hmm. Maybe my price will be a bit cheaper. Uh, when my price is a bit cheaper, if I have to see that people are selling at that price, I have to sell at that price, it is wrong. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to make my people. Uh, understand throughout Manipur mm -hmm. this is the only way if you start thinking this way mm -hmm. like uh, my price should be as what I need to charge mm -hmm. all our product will grow up mm -hmm. all our product will grow up uh, when our product grows up in, in that sense even Manipur handloom should also think this way mm -hmm. that uh, I don't I don't understand till today why Manipur handloom product is still costlier than the market product? Mm -hmm. Because the maybe the raw material must be a bit subsidized. Mm -hmm. The raw material must be still more cheaper than what I am buying from outside. Mm -hmm. uh, they are using government infrastructure. Uh, anyway, the Manipur handloom product should be still cheaper than whatever product available in the market and this mm -hmm. is just an example I am telling mm -hmm. one is Manipur handloom and one is the product manufactured by any Manipuri mm -hmm. so when uh, I just giving an example so that this is still easier mm -hmm. when the Manipur handloom product is still costlier than the market price I don't understand what is the system of pricing mm -hmm. but Manipur creation as such till today our main target is our price should be 40% lesser than the market prices mm -hmm and our product is selling at that price and our sales is very high. Mm -hmm. So the if, uh, just to cut in, if I understood correctly what you are saying is, you are right, many of our local products are very highly priced, so it is difficult for the consumer, like people of Manipur to buy, and hence some percentage of people buy products outside of Manipur because they are cheaper. Yes. So what you are saying is your brand it wants to solve that problem in the sense that you would use strategy wherein your products have quality but also your price competitive so that people can afford and buy uh, compared to other brands coming outside exactly of exactly exactly this is what i want to and in this line i already gone through with uh, some other entrepreneurs whom i am close to mm. Please join me at Finding the Voices.